Man, I was so in love with this thing two years ago. Look at this thing. It was so beautiful. With this new fresh paint job, I was proud of it. But then the dreaded red candy paint fade. Man, look at this thing. Lesson learned. Oh, well, new paint job, baby. Hey, you a virgin painter? It's all good. All right, I'll walk you through it. I was too at one point. Take take apart your electrical stuff here. Get you one of these containers right here to keep all your, your parts in, your, your screws, your bolts, your trim work. It's a lifesaver, I promise you. Once you get your parts together, um, you're going to move on to the next phase, which is if your paint is in good condition, you do not have to strip, baby, strip. So just get you a soapy bucket of water. Some 800 grit sandpaper. Actually, you can get 400 or orbital sander. Make sure you have on a mask, good dust mask, so that you can go ahead and start sanding. Yes, you can do it by hand if you don't have a mask. I mean, an orbital sander, but it's a little work. Have your lint free cloths on hand. And you want to make sure things have a pretty dull look. Make sure you get the spots where you see like little shiny spots like this. That means you need to keep sanding those spots until you actually take that edge off of the clear coat. So those two shiny spots have to go until we get to a dull look. All right, so I need to keep sanding. All right, see you later. All right, make sure everything's all smooth in here. Uh, smooth to the touch, go over the whole piece. Um, this is the back fender here, but there are gonna be some spots that the uh, orbital um, sander cannot get to. So make sure you get your piece of sandpaper, uh, fold it in, in half, get in the corners here, just like so. And just get to work, you know? There's nothing around it. I mean, no other way around it. You just gotta go for it. Next up is paint stands. I'm making them out of one by one wood and just bolting a one and a half inch screw into it um, through any hole that's gonna be available. Some people hang them, use a uh, wire to hang them. Some people lay them flat on the table and do that. And you can get away with that because it's not like anybody's looking underneath the bottom of the bike, if you, especially if you're gonna use trim. Man, it's all about whatever you're comfortable with, doing what you can. Just keep in mind whether or not someone is going to be able to see whatever your mistakes are when you're turning. That's it. Make sure you do a final cleaning of all your products when you finish sanding. Um, make sure it then follow up and tape off anything that you don't want exposed to paint, such as any kind of wires or any kind of coverings or anything like that, any pockets, or more so any kind of seals that you'll have around, such as your uh, saddlebags. This is my homemade paint booth. It's a breezeway. Anything that has an airflow um, will work. Those, that's my little compressor over here. It's a 20 gallon compressor. Um, but you want anything that's gonna create an airflow to get the your, your, your uh, overspray off. All right, let's go. Save your lungs, wear protective gear, man. Huh? Man, I forgot to, to record myself painting the primer using a 1.8 tip. Use slightly soapy water. Wet sand the product till smooth. I like to use 600. Make sure you're cleaning the products um, throughout the process to get it, wipe away any kind of grunt. I use two Harbor Freight uh, sprayers during this process. A little little small one with a 1.0 tip and a bigger one with a 1.4 and a 1.8 tip. Before you start, make sure you have your supplies ready and do your research on what you want to utilize, your sprayer, your air, air equipment, your paint, whatever stencils you want to utilize. Have that stuff ready so you don't have to go and order it and, and find yourself having to wait on supplies. That sucks having to stop the process for that. All right, make a list of everything that you're going to do. Just kind of make it easy. I just kind of have a few things here I'm going to do some little work with, such as like I'm going to have a name right here, a little artwork that I'm going to have um, to kind of use some decals to, you know, I guess kind of offset some of the, the artwork or do the work for me, in other words. So what I'm gonna, you'll see me do is make a couple passes here and other areas that I'm going to do, um, such as on the side of the fender here. So I just have a quick setup in the garage right now because um, I'm not doing any kind of major um, painting or anything. So it'll be really quick. But make sure you identify your setup. So this process, we're just going to use a little detail down here to make those few passes. All right.
So be careful whenever you're removing the outside of your stencil. Um, you want to first make sure that everything's dry before you apply it because you don't want it to have to pull off any paint or anything. And sometimes you may have to use a credit card or some sort of card to smooth process to kind of get it off. Um, once it's on and it comes off, it looks great, man, once you can take it off and um, it, you know, just provides a good assistance, some good assistance for those who are not so art artsy. We cooking, baby. We mixing up. Make sure you mix up your you stuff according to whatever your, your can specifies, your yeah. paint can specifies, whether that's two to one or one to one. Use a strainer. Man, this is a lifesaver. Actually get some of those particles out. So you can go ahead and get rocking on this, this, this paint process. Apply a thin coat. You don't have to put it all on on once. The second coat will take care of, care of it, so don't worry. It'll look right. See, it comes out pretty good with the second coat. It actually darkens up. It's all you really need. All right, so removing these stencils, they actually came out pretty clean, man. I actually think it's kind of funky, to be honest. So here's my setup. I have an air filter right here to get the particles out and water. I like to set my air tank gauges. Um, restricted at about 70, because by the time it gets to the air sprayer, the, uh, you know, the PSI drops to about 35 or 40, perfect. Mix my Which activator and my clear, like show clear according to, according to specs. Tail. Also, go ahead and run that through your um, through your sprayer. I actually use a different canister to hold that. Um, just my choice. Use a tack cloth, wipe in the same direction. Okay. a little bit of a dark spot in there from the paint. I use two coats of clear. In case y'all are wondering, with the overspray, I used my garage. It had a natural breeze that day and it actually filtered and blew the extra overspray out side of the windows. Man, the results of the clear came out really well. I, too bad I'm going to mess it up, you know. I'm about to actually sand this down, just kind of scratch it up, not to sand it off, just to scratch it up because I'm going to put another layer of paint on top. I like the effects of the glassy look of paint on top of another layer of artistic paint. Pretty cool looking, man. Hey, use your tape, like whatever width tape that you want right here. I have like some quarter inch tape. I'm going to use this as a guide because in between here, as you can see here, I have multiple here. I'm going to use this as a spacer and then remove these right here once I actually start to paint because I'm going to paint those um, red. And this piece right here, I'm going to remove this, um, take this center piece off and that's going to be a stripe right here. So, um, all right. So, as you can see here, I actually use these little pieces here as guides. I'm going to remove them throughout the, the these individual tapes, quarter inch tapes. I'm going to remove them as I make my lines, and this is going to be my blue line that's already sanded. I actually try to use tape that's already the width of something as a guide, and I put little pieces up there to kind of make my, you see, the, uh, the width of the line. So I'm not trying to eyeball this thing. Some people do it. Some people are great at it. I used to be a machinist, so I'm pretty good at it, but at the same time, don't trust yourself, man, if you don't have to. All right, time to expose what's going to get painted. Then I can cover up the rest on the east and west side of the tape so that, you know, that will not be painted over. Here are some of the other parts. I'm um, just going to show you what's been taped off. Um, I use my little um, detail gun to actually make spray these these different lines here 
primarily because they're small sections of the paint. You don't need a big sprayer at this point. The color came out a little different than I thought. I'm doing my second color here with the gold lines. Man, take the tape off. Let's see what we got, baby. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Mm, not a big fan of it, man. Good Lord. And I'm not disappointed, but guess what? Because I like certain parts of it, just not all of it. So, someone once told me before, if you think you messed up, don't worry about it. It's just paint, man. Scrub it and do it over. That's what I'm going to do. Get what you want. So, I went back, retaped it. Let's go. All right, now we not, we talking, we talking, baby. I like this. Yeah, I'm digging this color scheme better. I changed up the colors if you haven't figured it out. Um, kind of same concept. Added a couple places here. Um, like at the bottom down there, the little, little golden part of it. Yeah, new lion. I like these these this this concept a little better. So yeah, I sent off the, uh, the 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 lids right there to the saddlebags, um, getting the seat, the lids. I made a mini uh, backrest, you know, just kind of make the ride a little easier. Um, all of that has been sent off to actually get, uh, you know, fabricated some vinyl. Um, yeah, man, I think it's gonna look good. I'm digging this 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 look here. So ooh, I'm ready to ride. <laughs> good Lord, I want to ride. Time to put it back together. Everything back, the wires, um, the parts, the tins. Let's see how she cranks. Back in business, fellas. Back in business. Enjoy. I wish you success. You can do it. Okay. 